to all of our National Numeracy Day champion schools. Welcome to your special lesson starter for National Numeracy Day, a day when we celebrate numbers. I'm Rachel Riley, TV presenter, and I love maths. Now, I know not everyone feels as great about numbers as I do. Lots of people find maths hard, but just like learning to skateboard or ride a bike, maths is a skill. If you practice, you'll start to feel a bit more confident and you will get better. We want to make sure that you know that Matt is your friend, not a monster. It doesn't have to be scary. And to prove it, we've lots of fun activities for you today. We're getting together with Strictly's Katya Jones, we're baking with Bake Off winner Peter Sawkins, and we're rapping with World Slam poetry champion Harry Baker. And Bobby Seagull will tell you about an extra cool competition with some fantastic prizes to win for you and your school. So here are my fellow National Numeracy Ambassadors for some maths activities with a difference. Hello everyone, it's Katya Jones here, your Strictly Come Dancing champion. And today I want to show you that maths and dancing have a lot more in common than you think. So get ready to score a 10. It might look impressive now, but I wasn't born able to dance that fast. I had to start slow, keep practicing and have fun along the way. So today I've got all the confidence that you'll be able to keep up with me by the end of this session. What are we waiting for? Let's go! All the moves are going to be very simple, just follow along. Okay, our first move, we're going to feel like superheroes. Take your right elbow and punch it to the side. You can lean into your leg as you do that. Now we do exactly the same on your left side. On the third move, we're gonna cross our arms in front of me and pull them back towards our hips with the count. One, two, and three. Do you feel like a superhero now? Well, I certainly do. For our second move, we're going to reach to the left and right corner, starting with the right, pointing your foot out, changing to the left, pointing your foot out. Now the rhythm is gonna go single, single, stay double into the corner. Single, single, stay double into the corner. Moving on to our rolling of the arms. Roll your arms to the right corner, tap the foot to the side, changing to the left corner, tapping our foot out to the right corner, Change it to the left corner, nice and easy. Now this is where it gets tricky. Let's focus on our fast feet. With your right foot, you're gonna point at the front, point to the side and close your feet together, changing to the left side. Tap in the front, tap at the side, close your feet, changing the foot. Tap in front, tap to the side, close your feet. Change to the other foot. Now a little bit faster. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. We only got one more move to go and it's not even a dance step. Just enjoy yourself running around the room as fast as you can. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bam! Make sure to finish with confidence. Well, there you have it, guys. This is the whole dance. So massive well done already. Now it's time to take it to music. We're going to start off slowly and I'll be gradually speeding up the song. Now you will stick with me because only with practice and perseverance is when we get the results. Let's have fun. I believe in you. Speed up! Level up! 
let's go don't give up Let's keep going! Let's go! I want everyone to realize that there isn't such thing as a big maths monster. It's completely normal to find maths scary and difficult. I used to find dance steps difficult, but just like in dancing, if you take it one step at a time and with a bit of practice and encouragement, the results you achieve, they will surprise you, trust me. All you've got to do now is believe in yourself because I believe in you. So next time you face a maths problem, think about it as a dance. Break it down, learn it step by step, bring some fun into it and keep trying until you score a perfect 10. I'm Peter, the winner of last year's Bake Off. I'd like to let you in on the secret ingredient that I use in all of my bakes. Believe it or not, it's numbers. Maths actually helps me to become a better baker. Some people think maths is a bit boring, but there are lots of ways that you can make it fun and interesting in everyday life when you're doing the things you love. Take baking. I use numbers and maths all the time. I need to weigh ingredients and use fractions to get the quantities and ratios right. I watch the clock to work out how long bakes need to be in the oven, and I measure designs for decorating. But I wasn't born a champion baker. I made tons of mistakes when I was younger, but I kept on practicing until I got better. And no one is a born mathematician either. It's completely normal to find maths hard, but just like following a recipe, if we break maths down into manageable steps and keep practicing, we can all improve. So this National Numeracy Day, why not have some fun in the kitchen by making my cupcake bake and noticing how numbers can help us? Ask a grown-up before you get baking and have some fun. Hey friends, my name is Harry Baker and you may not know it to look at this, but I love maths. I know not everyone agrees with me on this one yet, but maths doesn't have to be scary. And to prove it, today I've written a special Numeracy Day rap. See, I'm a mathematician going mad for addition and then abracadabra subtractor, I'm a magician. It could be pattern recognition or just pancakes in the kitchen wishing you were flipping with precision. And maybe some numbers leave our brains feeling number. Maybe some sums leave us craving the summer. Whatever your level is, you may end up surprised. I guess you never know unless you try. And sometimes it's hard, that is okay too. We build from one till we're on, okay too. When we start slow and we see things through, you'd be amazed at what we can do. Cheers. Uh, no one's born rapping. I had to work it, get better as with every skill, as with maths. So next time you are struggling, take a minute, break it down and keep trying until you get it right. Today for Numeracy Day, if you would like, you can go to numeracyday.com. There is a rap activity sheet where you can give it a go yourselves, challenge your friends, see how fast you can do it. Maybe even come up with a maths rap of your own. If you do, if you would like to share your videos, get your parents to help you out on social media with the hashtag National Numeracy Day. And I would love to see if I've got any serious competition out there. Hi. I'm Bobby Seagull, I'm a TV presenter, football fan, and a maths teacher. When I was growing up, I wouldn't have imagined I'd be on TV talking about numbers, but I am. What do you want to do when you grow up? And how will you use numbers in your life? 
Maybe you'd like to be a vet, teacher, engineer, or footballer. Or perhaps dancing, baking, or saving the planet might be your thing. Whatever your dream job or hobby, I'd like to hear about it as part of the amazing Number Hero competition. All you have to do is create a picture of yourself doing your dream job or hobby and tell me how it uses numbers. You could win a £50 gift voucher and an amazing Number Heroes kit worth over a thousand pounds containing books, resources and games to make your whole school feel like number heroes. Plus, you'll win a virtual school assembly from me. And there are five runners-up prizes too. So grab an entry sheet from numeracyday.com and get everyone in your school feeling like a numeracy hero. Get your grown-up to email us your entry on competition at nationalnumeracy.org.uk or tag us on social media using hashtag National Numeracy Day or hashtag School Number Hero. Let your imagination run wild and I can't wait to see all your Number Heroes pictures. Have a go at those activities in your class or at home and we would love to see how you get on. And don't forget to enter our School Number Hero competition. And next time you face a maths problem, take a minute, break it down and keep trying till you get it right. Have a great National Numeracy Day everyone. Thank you.